Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans and corn are both higher on Wednesday, supported by forecasts for more dry conditions in many key growing areas of Argentina, up to and including now the first week of March. Temperatures are not expected to be as hot, maybe, but some yield potential is definitely being lost at this point. Conditions in Brazil look pretty good overall, aside from some expected soybean harvest delays in parts of central Brazil, which will push back second crop corn planting even further. As for wheat, it was mixed, mostly lower. Chicago and Kansas City were down essentially on the bearish global fundamental outlook. Minneapolis is mixed, keeping an eye on conditions in the northern plains in Canada ahead of spring wheat planting. Live cattle were down and feeders were sharply lower on a combination of factors, long liquidation, commercial selling, and the firm corn, along with some disappointment over this week's fed cattle exchange trade. By Wednesday afternoon, some light direct trade did develop in most of the major feeding areas at 128 live, down $2 on the week. USDA's cattle on feed numbers were out on Friday afternoon. And hogs closed higher, essentially just on oversold signals. Cash trade during the session was steady to weak. Parts of the Midwest and Plains have seen some movement delays because of winter weather, but that's expected to have a minor impact. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.